Hello, I'm Nana, and I am here uh, to share with you a tutorial or a lesson. We're here because of our friendship with our lovely people at uh, Apologia. And I'm not going to sing to you this time. Last time I did because we were guests. But if you really want to hear me sing, you can uh, write in after this video and I will sing a song for you. But anyway, this week is National Chemistry Week. And we are very excited about it because this is a homeschool family. And we have several students in the family that are studying chemistry. Now, my chemistry days, thankfully, are over, but I can help you to turn on your neurons and protons and, and your thinking caps by showing you how you can have some art, fun, to accompany your lessons. So, I'm going to explain to you what you need to have which is very little, to join us in this lesson. All right, first of all, we have some plain copy paper. This is out of the copy machine. See, no magic here, just plain copy. And I have a scratch sheet of construction paper underneath it to help hold it down. Because once we get started sometimes, our paper just slides all over, we get so excited about it. Now, we have a whole box of pastels here, many different colors. And as you can see, they're wonderfully well used and dirty, but that's okay. We cleaned up a little bit just for you today. The colors that I have chosen for this lesson are a medium green, red, a creamy sort of beigey color, and black. Now, I may just get started and say, oh, I need this, this, or this, and pull it out of the box, as my students uh, might do, too. So, we're going to get started, and I want you to turn your paper vertically, vertically, straight up and down like this, okay? Now, we're going to draw... I was not aware when I started this concept that I was was making the character look like a Muppet from uh, the Muppet Show, and this this is not Beaker, but what's what is Beaker? Oh, it is Beaker. Beaker or um, Doctor Honeydew. That's the right side of my brain speaking behind me. <laughs> Okay. It's a All right. Mom. Yes. All right. We're going to get started with our black. Now, this is just a tiny piece of black, and it has a really neat point on it, which is good for drawing. Now, I'm going to go slowly, so don't feel like you've been left behind. You're going to be able to catch up. Now, is that hard? It's not a chemistry symbol. It is almost, we could say, the letter U. And this is going to be Beaker's head. I'm going to attach some ears. Right like that. And then, right in the middle of his face, we're going to have some glasses. Now go ahead and attach the glasses behind his ears and there we go there's the bridge of it of his glasses now he's got to have a nose but we're not going to go crazy and do a real elaborate or a fancy nose just a plain little nose and because he's being mostly serious we're going to have just a bit of a smile on his face now we've got Beaker, his glasses, his ears, his nose, his mouth. Now this is up to you. I think that he should have bright red curly hair. Now if you're not in favor of 
bright red curly hair, then you can have brown or black. I wouldn't go crazy and make it blue. But anyway, you just have whatever you want. Now let's give him a little bit of a rosy cheek here. All right, I'm gonna clean. Oh, oh, and I forgot to tell you, this is a moist paper towel that I use and the students use, like if we're going to change colors and we don't want to mix the colors together, then we dry off our fingers. Okay, now we're not going to do a neck or anything else for him. We're going to pick back up the black again, and we're going to draw the spine of the chemistry book. Now that looks very strange, I know, but just be patient, just be patient. And then, because it's open, It looks like he's got his arms stretched out, but he doesn't. No, 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 no. All right. Here's the edge of the book. These were the pages. Look at that. Okay. Now, take this down. this down. Looky there, you have an open book. Now, I didn't make the spine of the book go all the way down. That's not a mistake. You're the artist, you can fix it. Just like I can. Okay. Now, over here, <coughs> in front of the book, we're going to put a beaker and I'm not too good at drawing bottles I hope that you're much better than I here we go kind of good and we're going to come back to this in just a minute this is the table where he's sitting now in order to make you know what kind of book it is, we have to name the book. So, we're going to write chemistry. Now, you just do the best you can. And if you have to ask somebody how to spell chemistry, be sure you can get it all on the book. Let's see, Nana ran out of room there. But you get the idea. Okay, now let's color this book, okay? This is the medium green. I'm going to put it on its side And I'm just going to lightly go in there and look how you can make the spine of the book just exactly the way you want to. See? It just sort of erases it. Now, in order to leave the name of the book, let's just not color over it. Okay? Now, this is your painter finger. Take your painter fingers and you can fill in and make it smooth and make it just like you want it. Look at that. It makes always makes me feel like, wow, she's a really good artist. She got it all the way to the edges. And you know what? Look, sometimes I even go outside the edge. Okay. Now, because Beaker is sitting here, he's got to be thinking about something. So, 
we're going to put some oh, equations and some sort of chemistry uh, talk that he is thinking about while he's looking at this. Now you can write in and tell me if I am wrong. Now this is going behind his head. That's an O, actually. And then we're going to do uh, one that I know about. We all know what H2O is. Maybe he's thinking about H2O. And then how about a triangle, just because. And here's an equation. Just a simple sort of art trick here to make it look like this is what he's thinking of. Didn't get the answer to that. All right, and up here, there's a C3. He's really got his mind full of stuff. <clears throat> okay, now, I think this is about enough for him to be thinking about. We're going to fix this beaker down here at the bottom, and this is one of those times. Yes, I'm picking up a different color. This is a gray. You can use your black. In fact, we'll just, we'll just do that. We're going to <clears throat> take our painter finger and we're going to make this beaker look like it has stuff all in it. Okay, look at that. Now, I'm going to take the black and here we go. Now, you can even take the white if you like, and you can make this lighter. Look at that. It's wonderful. Black smoke. Don't cover up your equations. That would make him angry because he's been thinking about these things. Now, I think this is done. And I know you've done a great job. And we have a wonderful picture in honor of Chemistry Week for Apologia. So I want you to sign your name here in the corner. Now your name's not Nana. So you sign your name, then turn it over on the back and name your picture. You always name your picture. Chemistry week and today's date. And then put this up in your classroom or your bedroom or on your refrigerator door. Show it to your friends and tell them, look at this. It's chemistry week. And we had a wonderful time painting this. I'm so glad you joined us today. Thank you for joining us, and remember to please share the photos of your artwork. We would love to see those. You can put them right here in the comments, and you can also share them on Instagram, tag Talk Pastel Art, and use the hashtag you are an artist. We would love for you to stop by chalkpastel.com and see what we have. We have some new Christmas course courses. <laughs> Horses, horses, that we are excited about. <laughs> Thanks again for joining us, and remember, remember you are an artist. artist.